There is no film so bad as a fat and Tom and Jerry Willy Wonka. Don't watch it, it is bad. An abomination. <laughs> so, yeah, as you just heard, yep, Willy Wonka, um, Tom and Jerry, um, Crossover is a bad idea and a bad movie. <laughs> Though, before I get into all the bad stuff, how about I talk about the good stuff? So, it does try to capture the heart of the Gene Wilder version, even if it's a complete failure at doing that. The music's great, and I'm always in heaven whenever they play the score from, I, from Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory. And... The voice of Willy Wonka, not a good actor, but when he sings Pure Imagination, he's actually not that bad, in my opinion. And three of the brats, um, <clears throat> mainly Veruca, Violet, and Mike TV, they're good voice actors, even though the animation on them is horrible. But they're not as great as voice actors as Jess Harnell as Grandpa Joe. Oh my gosh, I just want to eat up this guy. He's just, ugh, I love him. Um, you might know Jess Harnell as um, Wacko from the Animaniacs. Um, I also, I, I know him from that as well as um, Wooten from Adventures in Odyssey. And he just puts all his energy um into this character when really he didn't need to. He could just read it um, off the top of his head. But no, this guy just, yeah, he, he, it's like he dived full force into this. And even the song that um, Grandpa Joe has to sing, um, that usually um, gets me both cringing and happy at the same time. Um, this guy makes it so uncringeworthy. It's just, God, I love him. I, he's just so awesome. Any moment with him is just terrific. I love him more than the other characters. And speaking of the other characters, at least Tom and Jerry don't talk or sing friends to the end. And some of the animation's okay. Um, like the Chocolate River really does look like a chocolate chocolate river rather than um, dyed water or sewage. But I think the best thing about this movie is that it made me want to see the Gene Wilder version again and made me appreciate it um, so much more. And let's dive into every... well, I won't go into everything because I don't have enough time, but a lot of the bad stuff that just doesn't work in this. Um, so one of the bad, one of the things that doesn't work about this short is that this came um, like maybe months, um, close to a year after Gene Wilder had died. So it feels like a cash grab. And for those of you who think that um, it feels like a tribute, um, no. This doesn't feel like a tribute because nothing about it looks like Gene Wilder. Not even in the animation, not in the voice. And speaking of the animation, that's the other thing that doesn't work about this movie. I mean, the animation is so rubbery and makes the human characters look hideous or awkward. I mean, the facial expressions, duh! This is the face of hell. And, um... Willy Wonka looks the worst out of all of them. I, out of all the human characters, he looks the worst. I, and um, Tom and Jerry themselves, uh, well, they don't look hideous. They look way too cartoony and way too bright. It's like if um, I, it's like if Saturday Morning Cartoon wanted to do Tom and Jerry. Well, wanted to animate Tom and Jerry. And, well, here's another problem. The focus of the story is horribly unbalanced. One moment it's about Tom and Jerry um, 
and the next moment it's the Willy Wonka story, and then the next moment it's Tom, Jerry, and Tuffy, and Charlie fighting off slug, fighting off the not Slugworth in the factory. And whenever it cuts to um, the Willy Wonka version, it feels like it's fast forward. And when it comes to um, Tom and Jerry doing their slapstick, it doesn't feel funny. I, it's not even funny anymore. Their slapstick has become so boring and so tiring and obnoxious. I don't want to see it anymore. I want to rather see a seven-minute Tom and Jerry short where they're um, fighting each other and slapping each other and crushing, burning, and maiming. It's just... Ah. How come the seven-minute shorts do it better than the movies? It's like the movies lose their touch with Tom and Jerry and just don't know what to do with them anymore. And, oh gosh, Tuffy. Of all the characters, I hate Tuffy. I hated him in the Wizard of Oz um, crossover, and I hate him in this version even more because... Uh, this guy steals lines. This guy, um, it's just, he's just there to, uh, his main role is to talk for Tom and Jerry and steal lines from the main characters and, um, uh, and try to be taller. Because when I think, um, Wooly Wonka or the Wizard of Oz, I think of a mouse who wants to be taller. Oh, and he's an Oompa Loompa. What? Oh, and by the way, the subplot with uh, with not Slugworth versus Tom and Jerry and Tuffy is you'll find as you'll find one hundred percent pointless in so many ways. It's uh, when you find out that not Slugworth is not Slugworth. You feel like that everything's been wasted. The animation wasted, the time wasted, the energy against this guy wasted, the conflict wasted. The fact that they even involved Charlie and Grandpa Joe to try and foil him is like, what in the world? Yes, I am not kidding. This, a, they really do um, get Tom, Jerry, and uh, Charlie and Grandpa Joe and Tuffy to fight off um, a not Slugworth, which just <sighs> it makes me so angry. And also, Charlie's voice actor has got to be the worst voice actor out of all of them. I don't like—I mean, I don't like picking on child actors. I really, I don't. Because I know that um, I, that it's hard acting, and um, for a child, um, it can be hard. But this guy is just reading. He's in a monotone. It's like a, it's like Sofia Coppola for um, Godfather Three. I even in the moments where he's supposed to be excited, he's just I, he keeps a constant monotone. Look, everyone, the fifth golden ticket is mine. That's exactly what he sounds like, by the way. I'm not making that up. You even look at the trailer. He um, sounds like that. And also, um, well, that's about it, I have to say. I, other than Tom and Jerry are not funny anymore. I, it's like they've lost their touch. I, ever since the abomination of the movie, I mean, the first movie that they were in, it feels like that they have nothing to do anymore. And um, them chasing each other has not only become boring, but pretty obnoxious, too. Because it's interrupting whatever story is the focus. And there is no focus on the story. I, it just keeps cutting back and forth um, for um, three different times. Cutting to the Willy Wonka story, cutting to the Tom and Jerry story, and cutting to the Slugworth sub subplot. Though, if I did have to mention one thing I thought was funny, at least, was, um, was the fact that, well, how do I put it? Um, 
Oh, yeah. <laughs> I, one of the other subplots is that Tom and Jerry have to keep out of Willy Wonka's way because if he finds out who, um, a, who brought a cat, he's going to throw them out. And um, well, he finds cat fur on the sticky wall and he's like, Oh no, I'm going to have to re-sanitize the place! If you know the Gene Wilder version of Willy Wonka, you'll know that this is coming from the same Willy Wonka who, oh, I don't know, puts shoes into his chocolate, um, violates many safety codes in making this stuff, as well as safety codes for his guests. And, um, what else does, oh yeah, and he somehow gets past the Food and Drug Administration. <laughs> so... When you think about it, that actually is kind of funny. But aside from that, there's really little to nothing that funny. Um, I admire it for trying to capture the original, but for the most part, it is a failure at doing that. And the crossover with Tom and Jerry running in the background is completely pointless in so many ways. I, so, directed DVD movies, make up your mind. What do I, what do you want to show us? Tom and Jerry or um an animated version of the movie? Cuz mashing them together doesn't work anymore, especially with the pacing that you've all been going at. So, if you want my advice, just don't watch this movie. Go back to the Gene Wilder version or the Johnny Depp version because both versions in their own way are better than this one.